Today, we're gonna find out how long does it take to close an escrow? Hey, this is David Klein Lovett, broker owner, next home, first choice real estate. And I'm here today to show you how long it takes to close an escrow. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we do a video every week and stay to the end because you're gonna receive a free PDF book that I wrote, 101 Reasons to Love Your Real Estate Agent. And not only do you get a free $20 book, but you're also gonna receive and know all the different ways that a realtor can assist you in buying and selling real estate, and it, which could save you tens of thousands of dollars, even if you don't use me. So it's valuable. So let's get right into it. What the five top reasons, the five top things that affect how long it takes to close an escrow. How long does it take? Number one, drum roll, please. Okay, the loan type. Is it FHA, VA? Is it conventional? Is there no loan at all and it's a thing called cash? You know, cash is king. Well, first of all, if it's an FHA VA, it takes longer. There's more requirements. There's a lower down payment, which is a which kind of goes into that. If it's a lower down payment, they they look at you a little, you know, more more with a magnifying glass. Okay, that pretend this is a magnifying glass. It takes longer. Conventional less. How much is the down payment? It makes a difference. Now, if it's cash, you could close in three to five days. I've had FHA VAs go as long as 90. It's a lot of requirements to do. So the number one thing that affects uh, how long it takes to close on real estate is the loan type. Number two, the financial stability of the buyer. If you're Bill Gates, how long do you think it would take? If I'm writing a loan for Bill Gates, I don't care. It's done. Here's the money. How much you want? How much do I have to give you? If you're somebody that just went through a divorce, maybe, foreclosure, a short sale, a bankruptcy, it's gonna take longer. There's more things to, more uh, T's to cross, I's to dot. It just makes sense. It takes longer. You wanna check everything out. Even if you are pretty wealthy, but have a bunch of properties, but no job, you gotta figure out all the income from all the jobs. Maybe you have a, a tax return that's that thick. Got to go through it all. It's a lot. So reason number two, financial stability of the buyer. Reason number three, what do the parties want? Who are the parties? Buyer, seller. Okay, so maybe either one has kids. They want to wait for the school year to finish. Maybe they're in a hurry because the f school year is going to start, right? Could be either, either party. Maybe the buyer has a lease that if they break the lease, it's going to be a lot of money. So they, hey, Mr. Seller, Mrs. Seller, seller couple, hey, we'd like to wait till my lease is up before I, we move in, before we close escrow. There again, could be 30, 60, 90, 120 days or more. Okay, what else would it be? Contingencies. A contingency means we got to, this has to happen before we can do that. The most common contingency that I'm talking about right now is either buying a house from the seller's point of view, selling a house from the buyer's point of view. The buyer may have to sell their home to buy that home. The, the seller may have to buy a home in order to have a place to move. That could take months. Both parties agree on it. It's a good deal. That could take six months, 180 days. Woo. Didn't think it was so varied, did ya? Yeah, sometimes, again, three to five days, 180 days. It depends. Okay, so that's reason number three. Reason number four, how good is your lender? Everybody's different. Maybe one lender is too busy. You know, they do say, if you want something done, you want somebody who's busy. So it's good to have a busy, uh, lender, one that knows what they're doing, 
that is streamlined, gets things done, but what if they're too busy? Do they get back to you? Some, some people just get things done, other people just don't. How good is your lender? That's reason number four. Number five is kind of a catch-all. Problems! What are the most common problems that could slow down an escrow? Okay, well, one could be an appraisal. Maybe it didn't come in the way we wanted. We have to renegotiate, get another one. Could be. Now, if you did work with me, I got some ways to avoid that. But that's another video. You might want to know. So let me know. I'll let you know. Uh, percentage rates could change if you didn't lock in a loan. If a, the lender maybe didn't do that. Maybe they were thinking they were going to go down, but they went up. Now you don't qualify. Now you got to figure things out. I've had buyers buy a house, a car, in the middle of escrow and think, I was going to change how I qualify. I had to redo it. Maybe you had that bad lender, you had to go get another one, and that person has to start from scratch. Takes longer, all right? Problems, problems. Maybe uh, a job, just a layoff. Maybe, uh, maybe they just lowered your salary. Okay, we'll keep you on, but we're going to lower your salary. Got to reconstruct the loan. Takes longer. Condition of the property. Maybe there's, there's mold. And, you know, mold isn't quite as scary as we make it out to. Just get rid of it. But, hey, maybe it takes time. You got to do all the inspections. You got you to get the work done. You got to do reinspections. There's a lot to do. That's just an example. But the condition of the property. So, let's review what affects the length of time it takes to close an escrow. How long does it take? Okay, number, number one is the loan type. Number two is financial stability of the buyer. Number three is how much time does each party want? Number four, how good is your lender? And number five is problems. Okay, just like I said, click this link and you can get your free book and click this one over here and you're gonna see a property in Costa Mesa that you might be interested in. It's fun to get to know the market a little bit better. And don't forget to subscribe. This is David Klein Lovett, broker owner, next home, first choice realty.